on today's video, I'm going to be doing a product review of the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Airbrush Setting Spray. So if you'd like to see my opinion, my thoughts, and is this product worth it, please keep watching. So if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you probably think it's a little odd because I don't traditionally like setting sprays. I've never really used them. The last one I probably used was Urban Decay's All Nighter. Didn't necessarily like it, but I think it's more because I have extremely oily skin. Before filming this video, I had to use setting powder to kind of just get some of the oils off of my face because it is, well, it's not late, but the sun has gone down. So my skin is really oily, and for that reason, I don't traditionally use primers, and I also don't traditionally use setting sprays. But I saw someone try this product out on Instagram, and they did a demo. They did two swatches of shadow on their hand and they sprayed this spray on it and they tried to rub it off and it was not moving. That intrigued me enough to try this product. So today I'm going to tell you a little bit about the claims of the setting spray and let you know what my experience has been. So I'm going to read directly from Sephora. This is supposed to be a hydrating alcohol and oil free spray that weightlessly sets makeup for up to 16 hours without melting, fading, or settling into fine lines. So this product retails for $35 for the full size and $20 for the travel size. So some of the ingredients that should be highlighted are firm former polymers, which form a strong but flexible breathable film across the skin to keep makeup in place. Japanese green tea, which supports the natural moisture barrier for soft hydrated skin and also aromatic resin, which blurs the appearance of pores. Now this is supposed to be great for all skin types. Uh, and on the back of this, it actually says that this primes and sets for up to 16 hours with no melting, no fading, and no creasing. To use, hold six to eight inches away from face and mist over entire face before and after applying makeup. So I wanna tell you guys a little bit about my experience. I have worn this about three or four times the longest I've worn it is probably about 10 or so hours. Usually I don't have on makeup longer than that, especially now because I'm not really leaving the house. I will say that, so the first time I used it, I just sprayed it after my makeup just to see how that would go and I didn't like the way it looked. Well, first I think I sprayed too much and I looked really splotchy. So the second time I used this, I sprayed it before all over my face, let it absorb. I applied my makeup and I sprayed it again after applying all my makeup. That is my preferred method. They really have something going with that. I've never really thought about using a setting spray before you apply makeup, but it really just made my makeup seal. For me, this did not keep me from creasing. I am gonna insert some photos in this video. I would say at about three hours, I started to have a little bit of creasing where my lash lines are. And as my makeup wore, I did get oily, but my makeup did not crease anywhere else except on my forehead up here. So those are the two areas where I always have creasing or just settling into fine lines. I have a line across my forehead from being super expressive and my fine lines, I wouldn't even call them that, but my lash lines. So this actually made my makeup stay in place. Now I never really have trouble with my makeup melting. I do sweat a lot, I do have oily skin. I did work out with this setting spray and my makeup did not melt. It looked nice. This said that it had some ingredient, aromatic resin to help blur the appearance of pores. My pores still look just as large <laughs> close up, but I think in pictures I looked really nice. So overall, I really enjoy this product. Like I said, I'm going to include some pictures in the video showing you guys at what point in the day, how many hours from the time when I applied my setting spray. Um, I'm hooked. Now, I did hear people saying that this would help with wearing a mask with makeup. Now, I have not put on a mask with this, but I have blotted my skin with a white towel and it does transfer. So I'm not really sure what claims are in terms of makeup transferring. I know there are some foundations that say they are transfer proof. I have never tried any complexion product that doesn't transfer. It could be because I'm so oily that the oils start to break down the formula of the foundation. But I do want to try the swatch test on my hand to show you guys if that works. Because for me, my makeup did kind of transfer onto a cloth or towel when I was blotting my oil. Nothing too crazy though. I think if 
if I didn't have this on, it would have transferred a lot more. Like it wasn't as much as it usually is if I use like a paper towel or something to blot my face. But I definitely want to try the swatch test here on camera with you guys because that's what actually got me to buy this product. Okay, so this is my Huda Beauty palette and I'm going to spray some of this beforehand because that's how you're supposed to wear it on your face. Let that dry. I'm going to swatch raw, which is a color like this. And I'm going to swatch love bite, which is like a matte purple. I'm not flicking you guys off. So this is what they look like on my skin. I'm also going to spray this again. Let's, I'll give it a few extras because I want to see if this really works. I saw somebody doing it on Instagram to demonstrate how well it worked and that's honestly why I purchased it. And these are shadows from the Huda Beauty New Nude Palette, which I love. So it hasn't dried down yet because I did spray a lot. Do, 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 do. Let's see how this is going to work. It doesn't really have too much of a scent. It smells a little floral, rosy, but not too, too much. It's weird how this product kind of dries. It's like, it's weird. But let's see. Oh. <laughs> so the top portion over here was more dry and it's coming off but not too too badly but the bottom where it was still wet did come off so that tells me that this will probably keep eyeshadow and dry things in place without coming off i almost want to do this again i'm gonna do it on my arm let's do this again that can you stay up all night? So I'm gonna let my arm completely dry to see if it doesn't rub off. It's still drying down. It does take a while to set, I will say that. So I'm excited to see whether or not this is gonna work. Okay, so it looks like this has dried down fully. Let's see if it smudges off. Let's use my thumb. Oh, wow. It's coming off a little, it came off a little, but you guys, that's honestly on there so well. Okay, so it definitely passed the swatch test. It's faded on my arm, if you can tell. It has come off a little bit, but for that to just be powder shadow, I'm actually highly impressed. So my final verdict of this product is that you probably can spray it on your skin if you have normal skin and you're not oily and it won't transfer or rub off. But if you have super oily skin like myself, it probably isn't the best for being transfer proof because to me, if something doesn't rub off and it stays in place, it's transfer proof. But what it does for me and why I like it is because it really helps to just seal my makeup in and help me look fresh longer. So I think if I were to wear this for the 16 or even 20 hours later, which I would probably never do, my face would still really look nicely intact. Um, like I said, I did have a little bit of creasing, but those are in areas where I tend to get creasing just no matter what. Overall, I really do like this product though. And I'm not even a setting spray type of gal, but I would repurchase this. If you spray it on correctly and don't use too much, I think it gives you a nice flawless finish. And if you don't have super oily skin, I think this is going to work the best for you. Like I am rubbing these powder shadows off and you can still see them. So that is a testament to just how great this setting spray is. If you were in the market for a new setting spray, I would highly recommend this one. A lot of you ladies have told me that you loved it. So this could be great for use under a mask. But my tip for wearing a mask is to place a paper napkin between my face and the mask so I don't get any transfer and my makeup doesn't slide around. But I don't think you can go wrong with this. I like it. I will link this product down below. I picked it up from Sephora. I am just stunned by the results of the powder shadow on my arm. So shout out to Charlotte Tilbury. You did your thing with this setting spray. If you guys have tried this, let me know your thoughts. Did you like it? Did you use it correctly? Because I've never heard that you should use a setting spray before applying your makeup. So if you have tried this and you don't like it, 
maybe try that and see if it makes a difference. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.